Hi guys, Ian from footballboots.kk here and today I want to talk to you about the one floor with the brazooka. Um, as you can see at the moment this looks nice and clean and um, everything but we've actually been using it and I've just wiped this um, side clean with a cloth and um, the issue that we have the, with the brazooka is if you're testing it on muddy pitches um, then the mud will sit inside these little grooves and um, here's the other side of it where you can see the mud. Um, this isn't even really that bad. When we've played with it in um, games, um, it gets really muddy on the muddy pitches and it can even become a problem kind of um, picking the ball out during the game. So we've had to make sure to clean it before every game and you don't really want to have to clean your ball every time you play with it. Um, and it doesn't happen on balls that have that smooth coating because once it's on a wet pitch or anything like that, it just wipes the mud off you and like you hardly ever have to clean a ball. But this one, we actually are having to resort to getting a, a wet rag and actually really kind of rubbing at it to get it off. It doesn't even come off that easily. So then you have to work at it quite hard to then get it to, to clean up and then it makes it a lot more um, visible for match use. And this isn't restricted to the brazooka, it's anything that's in the same, same range from um, Adidas. So um, here we've got the Champions League final ball. Um, this too has those little indentations. So if you use this on a muddy pitch, then the mud will stick into these little um, areas as well. So it's just one problem with the ball. Um, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but it might be something you want to bear in mind. Um, we do find it's an exceptional ball for um, playing with. It's got a really great flight and um, great ping when you shoot with it and all that kind of stuff. And you've seen how um, successful it's been in the World Cup. Um, and obviously they don't have a problem. They're using new balls for every game and um, their pitches aren't anywhere near as muddy as some of the fields that we play on. So just wanted to let you know that um, if you are thinking about getting the full um, brazooka, then um, you may encounter these problems and I would suggest trying to clean it um, before every match so that the ball stands out. Otherwise you may have some trouble picking it out during the game. Um, and we don't want that happening. So anyway, that's the one floor of the brazooka. We think it's a great ball, but um, we are gonna have to go clean it. So um, I'm gonna go do that now and um, make sure you check our um, channel for all our other cleaning videos. Um, you'll see videos where we clean the superflies and there's other ones where we clean Eva powers and all sorts of other stuff.